senseless. Well, that is what one of the first people on the scene says after finding a taxi driver shot dead. Days away from Father's Day, a one-year-old now has to grow up without a father. Our Zach Dahlheimer is live in Garner after hearing that firsthand account from a witness. Yeah, good evening, Maggie. And that man told me that he was on his way to work this morning when he found that taxi in this general area behind me here off of Pool Drive near Aversboro Road. Now, people living around here are keeping their eyes and ears open. It's, it's very um, sad. Garner police responding just before 5 o'clock Thursday morning, finding this Amigo taxi in the woods and the driver, 36-year-old El Haji Sek, dead inside. It, it, I, I really have no words, you know, because, you know, it's just senseless. This man who wants to stay anonymous told us he saw the taxi off of Pool Drive and called 911. Like the front end, just the lights and the windshield. You know what I mean? That's basically all that was hanging out, and the rest was over, the overlay of the trees and bushes and stuff. No one ever parks on that side of the street. I just had to call to get someone by to check because it just didn't feel right, man. Who knew what was going on? Officers say there are no suspects, and it's still unknown what led up to the shooting. A friend who asked to remain anonymous says Sec had been working for Amigo Taxi for three years. Sec's brother-in-law told us he had a one-year-old child. To have to grow up alone without a father, that would just not be... That's, that's just cruel in and of itself, so I would want the person who did this to be punished. Brittany Peterson's family went through their security camera at their pool drive home, but didn't find any activity. She and officers hope others living nearby will follow suit. It just kind of blows my mind that people can be cruel enough to do stuff like this, unfortunately. I just want to send your condolences and hope that justice be served. Both told us they'll be on the lookout for anything suspicious. On the way to keep your community safe is be involved. Garner police are asking for anyone with home security cameras living around here to check for activity between 2 and 5 o'clock this morning. You can find specific locations that police say they're interested in by going to our website, cbs17.com. Live in Garner, Zach Dahlheimer, CBS 17 News.